हेलो फिजियोस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ वी आर बैक विद अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन माइक्रोवेव डायथर्मी सो दिस वन इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ माइक्रोवेव डायथर्मी इट इज वी कैन से वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर थ्योरी एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो ओके एंड माई नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो वट इज माइक्रोवेव डायथर्मी शॉर्टवेव डायथर्मी वी हैव प्रीवियसली डिस्कस इट वॉज ऑल्सो अ डीप हीटिंग मोडेलिटी अंडर द हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी करंट सो दिस वन इज ऑल्सो सेम अंडर द हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी करंट इज अ डीप हीटिंग मोडेलिटी नाउ इट हैज इट्स फ्रीक्वेंसी बिटवीन इंफ्रारेड एंड शॉर्ट वेव बिटवीन द इन इन द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम सो अगर हम स्पेक्ट्रम के हिसाब से देखें इसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी आई आर और शॉर्ट वेव के बीच में लाइ करेगी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द डेसीमीटर वेव वाई इट इज कॉल्ड डेसीमीटर वेव बिकॉज इट्स वेव लेंथ इज अराउंड वन सेंटीमीटर टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर और वी कैन से वन मीटर ओके सो दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड डेसीमीटर वेव दिस पर्टिकुलरली कैन बी आस्ट इन योर वाइवा कुश इट हैज फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड आई हैव रिटर्न फ्रीक्वेंसी इन रिलेट इन रिलेशन टू द वेव लेंथ इफ वेव लेंथ इज वन मीटर देन फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी थ्री हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ट दैट इज थ्री हंड्रेड मेगा हर्ट एंड एट वन एम एम इट विल बिकम थ्री हंड्रेड गीगा हर्ट ओके सो इट इज रिटर्न इन रिलेशन टू फ्रीक्वेंसी ओके वेन वेव लेंथ इज हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी बिकम लो वेन वेव लेंथ इज स्मॉल द फ्रीक्वेंसी बिकम high as they are inversely proportional for medical use we have three models 24000 mega hertz at wavelength of 12.2 cm 915 mega hertz at 32.8 cm and 434 mega hertz at 69 cm so these are some models okay it also has a heating effect okay it has a heating effect and it obey the laws of reflection refraction of uh, absorption and inverse square law that all we have done in basis of electrotherapy as a we can say laws of laws of electromagnetic radiation okay so electromagnetic radiation obey these particular laws now uh, important thing is the production of microwaves okay so we give power supply from main circuit which reach to the magnetron and now we will study that what actually is a magnetron you will first of all ask a simple question sir we needed high frequency current yes also it was needed in swd there we used used we can say capacitor okay we used capacitor oscillator circuit okay that different different uh, we can say circuits were used but here the frequency is very high that it cannot be produced by either oscillator or a transformer or any other electrical device so we use magnetron so magnetron is a sir, electrical uh, we can say device which have cathode and anode at center it is cathode at outside it is anode anode have these cavities okay this circular cavities are present in anode which is called the resonating cavity or the anodal cavities till this you have understand at center it is cathode this outer circle is anode and anode is having cavity okay now i can also say that this magnetron is like a diode valve it is like a diode valve whenever current is given cathode has property that it will heat up as soon as it will heat up it will start to giving the electrons that is it will emit the electron so which law is occurring thermionic emission is occurring thermionic emission is occurring so electron will be emitted e 
एंड कैथोड आल्सो हैव नेगेटिव चार्ज एंड एनोड हैव पॉजिटिव चार्ज ओके पॉजिटिव चार्ज पॉजिटिव 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 ओके पॉजिटिव 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 एंड पॉजिटिव चार्ज ओके नाउ इफ द कंडीशन वॉज जस्ट लाइक दिस दैट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग ए सी करंट कैथोड इज गेटिंग हीटेड अप एंड इट गेव इलेक्ट्रॉन द इलेक्ट्रॉन वुड मूव इन अ स्ट्रेट डायरेक्शन इन अ स्ट्रेट डायरेक्शन But here this do not occur. But here this do not occur. There is a large circular magnet which is placed just below the just below the magnetron. Now I just pick up this placed here and place the magnet of same size and then again place this whole circuit whole circuit. Did you understand? Or you just imagine a magnet just below this, which is giving the magnetic field outward, outward, outward. Okay. So now you will see that how under magnetic field the direction will change. This magnetic field will put a torque, will give a torque that is a So uh, we can say force, circular acting force on electron due to which this electron will be rotating in this cavity, rotating in this cavity. Okay, rotating in this cavity. So here lot of electrons will be given and it will rotate or move in a circular direction inside this and also inside this. Due to which here negative charge will also be developed. Negative charge will also be developed. Negative charge. Now let me zoom just one thing. This was our anode and it was positively charged. Okay. Here is let us say cathode which is negatively charged. It gave electron and let us say it came here. so th this was initially positive 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 and due to emission of electron this wall would become relatively negative okay so this thing look like a look like a capacitor look like a capacitor and and so this charges help the wall of this cavity resonating cavity to look like a look like a capacitor and you know in capacitor the charges move or we can say it have move like this like this also it has a electric field okay so here occur large oscillations of of electron which will produce a high frequency current okay so this will produce high frequency current also this anode that is the outer wall will act like a inductor due to current inductor this will act like a inductor which is we can say in depth concept you not need not to go in that depth you just need to understand at center there is cathode at periphery there is anode anode has these circular pits that is act as the resonating cavity or anodal cavity and below this there is a magnet so whenever current is given cathode will get heat up it will do thermionic emission that is it will emit the electron which will move in a circular direction around the around the cathode in the resonating cavity okay in the resonating cavity and this high frequency current is fed to the coaxial cable and via coaxial cable this current will move to the antenna of the mwd which will emit it via emitter and that emitter can be of two types this one is circular this one is rectangular and if we are using circular it will give a circular beam which will be more dense at periphery and if we are using rectangular 
एमीटर इट विल गिव अ ओवल इट विल गिव अ ओवल बीम विच विल बी मोर डेंस एट सेंटर सो दिस इज होल यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ माइक्रोवेव डायथमी ओके सो दिस इज होल ओके नाउ अगेन फॉर योर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मेक यू रिलेट दिस वन विद एस डब्ल्यू डी इन एस डब्ल्यू डी प्रोडक्शन देर वर टू सर्किट मशीन सर्किट ओके एंड अदर वॉज द रेजुनेटिंग सर्किट एंड देर वॉज ऑल्सो कंस्ट्रक्शन लाइक दिस इंडक्टर दिस इंडक्टर वॉज हैविंग कैपेसिटर एंड देर वर टू इंडक्टर एंड टू कैपेसिटर this is what happens here this one is acting like a capacitor and this will act like a inductor which will we can say oscillate the electron and this will produce a high frequency current which is fed by coaxial cable to antenna which will emit the electromagnetic radiation that is the micro waves are emitted so this is whole about the first lecture what we have studied that microwave have its frequency between ir and short wave so this can also be a one word question decimeter wave it is called decimeter wave why because of its wavelength 1 cm to 100 cm or you can say 1 meter then different frequencies are given and next was the production which is very important in our next lecture we will move further toward mwd till then you keep on studying thank you to one and all